Yo, what's going on guys? I'm not sure if I've done a pair of 505 Levi's before. If I have, so be it. I feel like all the washes, all the details are always so different on these Levi's jeans. Uh, you never know what you're getting really. This is a pair of like, I think it's early or late 90s, early 2000s because they're not made in USA, they're made in Mexico. But you know, if it's on this cotton tag, as I was told, uh, normally that means it's like an earlier pair or later pair, whatever you want to call it, of like 2000s, 90s. But this pair was really nice. I picked them up. They have some flaws, but I kind of like the way they look on them just because it has like a little hole here, which I don't really care. But then it has like a really good fade going on here. Uh, and that's because I think these were bleached or bleach got on them. You know, as you can see on the back, there's a few bleach stains here and there, just spots. But I feel like it adds to the character of the jeans. They look really nice. Uh, if anyone can answer this question, I don't think the Levi's, the Levi's tab, I don't think it came off. Um, I think it was printed like this. I don't know why. I'm always curious. I know there's certain ages, like in the 70s or 60s, where like it was blank for some reason. I can't remember why. I think it's like one in five pairs are, I guess, blank, something like that. But um, please let me know in the comments or something if you know. But, you know, really just good fades here, as you can see. Uh, I mean, fades, bleach stains, whatever you want to call it. But right here, not like the dots, but, you know, you can see this fades going on here. Really like that part. Uh, these are a pair I'm wearing pretty often. The back tab was taken off, as you can see. No real uh, fade marks from the tab, so it must have been taken off like really early, I guess. Normally, if you take it off later on, you'll see like a crazy fade on there. But just a side note. You know, a lot of times, be careful. I always like to ask before I buy a pair online if the crotch is blown out. That's like one of the most common flaws I feel like for a pair of jeans and then it's like you don't really want to buy those then uh, I know some people do like buying them and there's a huge market still for them but for me I personally stay away from that just because I do not have that market <laughs> good fade though all around uh, I just like the way they look you know a lot of people are all about the 501s I feel like 505s are such a good deal um, they fit just the same they just have a zipper here instead of you know, the classic button fly that everyone loves. I'm trying to see if there's any more tags in here. I don't think so, but find any more details for you guys. Here's what the back of the tag looks like, if you can see that. Um, nothing crazy on there. I think you might be able to find the exact date if you look on it, but I'm not sure how to do that. Taking a look at it now, though. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea exactly. There's a bunch of numbers on the back. I'm sure some people, you can look it up online too, how to find that out. But I normally cuff the jeans at the bottom. One of my favorite parts about buying all these vintage Levi's is that I can kind of pick out the pairs that fit me the best. I can find random pairs that have cool, different, unique things going on with them. You know, I like finding like dyed Levi's, stuff like that. Random things you don't normally see. I'm trying to see any other details on here too. Uh, they do sometimes have like slight stains right here. And also let me know in the comments if you know the best way to wash your Levi's, your pants. Some people just um, hang dry them. Of course, I've heard that because if you dry them in the dryer, it's going to shrink them. Uh, putting them in a bucket and then, you know, putting a whatever cleaner or laundry detergent you're using, I guess, is a very common method. But I feel like these fit really good. And you get them for like 25, 30 bucks, made in USA, made in Mexico, early pairs that will last you a long time compared to the 501 double X that are made in USA that are going to cost you like $80 on average, I would say. Um, also, worn pretty heavily on the cuff, as you can see. Not a problem. I don't really mind that. But just a side note, a lot of times you do see some heel drag, stuff like that. And here's some on this side, too. But overall, really good pair of jeans. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure to check out my other videos. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later. Peace.